Hello, I'm Tony. And I'm Chris. Thank you for joining us in Clark Planetarium for one of our engineering challenges. Today we are going to be building a graham cracker house. So, you know what I always have a problem with? What's that, Chris? Getting the dang thing to just stand up. Well, I may have a few ideas to help you out with that. Okay. So first we're going to have to start with the design plan. Just something so we can kind of have an idea of how we're going to build our graham cracker house, where to start, and where we're going with it. All right. So, kind of like my design here that I made for my house. Perfect. Uh, you can see I've got some licorice gutters, some windows, a door wreath, a candy pet, candy shingles, you know, all my decorations and how I want the general thing to look. All right. So looking into just building the house, we need to look at certain things such as structural integrity or the ability for the house to stand up on its own. Exactly. So basically we're fighting against gravity. On Earth here, the Earth likes to pull down on everything. It's trying to pull down everything, including our house. So we got to fight against that gravity and try to build the strongest house that we can. On top of just having a good overall design that's going to hold up itself, we need something that's going to hold the walls together. For these houses, we use two different types of epoxies. One was our frosting, and the other one was melted gummy bears for a little quicker, easier thing that's going to hold it up, potentially stronger. And uh, one thing that helps these hold it up the building and hold the walls together is the fact that sugar has hydrogen bonds that make it sticky. All right, so let's get into building the house here. We're just going to go over just some quick little things just to get you set up. First off, we need some walls. So I like to build the walls first. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. All right, so you probably built something like this before. You may have built um, gingerbread houses before. We're using graham crackers. Use gingerbread if you want, but this is what we had on hand and it works just fine. So let's see here. I'm going to first construct my base here. If I can get my icing on my bag here. Hmm. There we go. That's how you know it's good. Make a line of icing and I made special quick dry icing by adding just a little bit more sugar to it. It's a little drier, but it actually dries up fairly quickly. Put that there. I'm actually going to put one more line for my front wall here. And then I'm going to put a line on my graham cracker where my two walls meet. Set that there. Hold that there. And it's already drying. It feels pretty solid. So I'm going to let it alone. And hey, look at that. It's good enough. Great job. Hey, well, I mean, you know? that's a pretty good start. Should we get to decorating? Should we get to decorating? Let's get to decorating. Let's get to decorating. Woo, man, that, that was a great decorating time. They're already time. done. It took a while, huh? I know, right? Ooh, buddy. So uh, tell us a little bit about your house. What'd you do here? So this house, uh, for the gingerbread walls, I would break the graham crackers in half and I melted marshmallows and put that between them as almost like a peanut butter spread and then Ooh. stuck it together. So the walls are twice as thick and then the melted gummy bears I used to connect the walls, connect to the bottom and hold up the roof. One other thing is I did not double graham cracker the roof because one thing is if the roof's getting pulled down on, you want the roof to be lighter so it's not as heavy and not going to cave in. That Look, makes sense. Let's look at yours. Yeah, so I love your uh, your gummy bear idea for holding the house together. Now, you had to melt down the gummy bears, right? Yeah. Okay, so did it get real hot? Very hot. Okay. Hot so, and sticky. Hot so, and sticky. if you do end up using gummy bears to build your house, make sure you have parental supervision or you're just extremely careful, wear gloves, something, because it's gonna be messy. That was one thing I learned the hard way. <laughs> it's gonna be messy, it's gonna be hot, so be careful. And by hot, we mean really hot. I uh, I stuck my finger in some hot caramel one time. Don't do that, I would not advise it. It's going to be very hot, so be careful, be extra careful. For me, I use traditional icing here, and you can see here, um, it held up pretty well, and I actually had a lot of the same ideas that you did, where I used double structures. I used uh, two graham crackers to hold up the walls and make them stronger, and I made my roof out of just one graham cracker instead of double to make it lighter. I also used a few supports on the inside here to help hold up the walls to keep them from caving in, and it worked out pretty well, I'd say. I would agree so. Would agree so. Agree with that myself. Alrighty. So, um, now that we build our gingerbread houses, we have two options. We can either eat them 
Or I think we should drop him and see who's the stronger. Ooh, we should drop them. That is one of the funnest parts of making gingerbread houses, that destroying them. So we are here at the planetarium. We're going to drop them from space and see which one holds up the most and which gingerbread house is the strongest. Let's get right to it. Let's do it. All right. Three, two, one, go. Chris, that was a pretty quick trip back to space, wasn't it? It was a pretty quick trip back, but it looks like uh, my house didn't quite make it. Didn't quite make it, but I will say it was pretty well it lasted. It was. Anyways, our next challenge for you is we want you to build your own gingerbread houses. So, build your own gingerbread houses, take pictures, film videos, destroy them if you want to, and make sure to um, hashtag them with engineering challenge or hashtag Clark Monterey. And, uh, you know, if you're really into engineering and you uh, like uh, candy as well, our Planet Fun store here at the Planetarium has lots of different engineering toys and things like that, like this cool architectural engineering set, smaller engineering things, and they've got all kinds of different stuff that you can build with and purchase here. And they've also got some pretty good candy here, including uh, astronaut ice cream and, and some rock candy, cool stuff like that. Uh, the Planet Fun Store is open on Thursdays through Sundays right now from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. They will be closed on December 25th through to January 1st. Alrighty. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, and we hope you all have a wonderful day. Yeah, happy holidays. See you later.